This is a step-by-step -step guide for helping your student um, sign up for the first time for Edmodo. So when you go to edmodo.com for the first time, this is what you'll see. Come down here just below the middle and click on I'm a student. Once you do that, you get this little pop-up window here. First thing it says at the top is the group code. That code is the code your teacher has given you that's unique to your class. So start out with um, one group code for one of your selective classes. And then the rest of the information here, username, password, email is optional, it's not required. So if your student does not have an email account or you just don't wish the student's email account to be used with Edmodo, then leave that blank. Then first name, last name, agree to terms of service, and click sign up. All right. Once you've done that the first time, when you come to this page the next time, all you need to do is log in. The next time you uh, come to Edmodo, you just need to log in. So I'm going to type in our hypothetical student here and log in. When you log in, you'll come to this um, home page. has your name here in the upper left area, and you can upload a picture if you'd like or choose a picture um, from a, a selection that Edmodo has. Um, right below that, you want to make sure that you have this latest post selected. That's the default, and that just will um, a, that just will guarantee that everything that's posted gets listed in this list here. If you want to just view assignments, you can click on assignments and it'll show you just the assignments, but then you want to make sure to go back and click on latest posts. That way if you get a notice from your teacher about something coming up, you'll be sure to see that right at the top in your list of posts. The first time that you, um, when you first signed up for Edmodo, you joined with the code from one of your classes, but you want to add the rest of your classes right here. So if you click on join, you have a spot where you can put the code for your other classes and click join, and then those classes will all show up here. So make sure you join all the classes um, that you're taking. Then you can color code them to make it easier to see which posts are from and which assignments are from which class. And you simply click right on that square and you can pick your codes. That'll just help you be more organized. It'll be easier to see uh, both in the list view here and then later on on the calendar um, the information from your various classes. Okay, so let's take a look at this student's um, list of posts. He, you can tell by the color coding that he has some information from his science class, his literature class, his computer class. Um, the first thing on the list here is the most recent post, and it's an assignment from his science class that's due on September 14th. If there's a due date on an assignment, um, it'll show up in bold here highlighted with this blue and uh, with the option to turn it in right here. So it might be something that the student can turn in um, electronically or it might be something the student's going to bring into class. If we scroll down here we see that this literature assignment has already been turned in and graded. So the student turned it in, the teacher already graded it and you've even got a score right here, 4 out of 4. We click on it, we can see what the student responded, we can see the grade, when it was turned in, and who graded it. Alright, looking back at his post here, let's scroll down and look at an assignment that's been turned in but not graded yet. So here's a computer class assignment called Word Processing. I can see that it's been turned in and now it says that he's waiting for a grade. So if I click on that, it shows that the student responded, here's my assignment, and attached a PDF. 
and if we look here where the grade would show up, it shows that it's waiting for a grade. If you're anywhere on Edmodo and you want to get back to that front page with your, with your um, list of posts, click on Edmodo here, and that takes you back to that, um, this front page always just by clicking Edmodo. So in addition to the um, posting list that you see here, you can also view a calendar in Edmodo. So if you come up here to the top and click on Calendar, we'll go over to September, and you can see um, here are our assignments loaded onto the calendar on the date that they are due. Um, on the left, our list is still there showing the classes that we're enrolled in and the color codes. And then I can look here and see I have one assignment due on the 7th and two assignments due on the 14th. And I can see which class those assignments are for. If I double click on the assignment, it will pop up and I have all the details there. I can see this uh, was the assignment that, I already, that the student already completed and graded. And so my, the grade is posted there. If I go to this assignment, it shows that it was turned in, but it's waiting to be graded. And if I click on this one, um, it shows that the due date's still there, so it has not been turned in yet. You can also use your Edmodo calendar for, for things other than your assignments. The assignments will automatically show up on the calendar when your teachers load them um, onto Edmodo. But you can add other, other things, events. So just click on um, the date and you get this pop-up. You can describe the event, um, class party, and give it a date and tell it to create and it'll pop up there. So use it to keep track of other events in your life if you like. You can also look at grades and you look you can select which class and it'll take you there and show the assignments for that class what you've turned in and the grades you've received and then don't forget anytime you want to get back to the original page the front page with all of your latest posts just click on the Edmodo logo here in the upper left corner Okay, well, there's a lot more to Edmodo, but that's enough to get you started. That's what you'll be using most of all, those features there. And your teachers may show you some additional features, and I'm sure you'll discover some features on your own. But that should get you going with Edmodo.